वेलकम व्यूवर्स टू सॉफ्ट अटैमी अ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग अकेडमी टूडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट असाइनमेंट स्टाफिंग इन प्राइमरी एपी सिक्स वाइल यूजिंग यूजर प्रेफरेंसेज सेटिंग इन प्राइमरी एपी सिक्स सो हेयर वी विल ओपन प्राइमरी एपी सिक्स इफ यू टिल नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब डोंट फॉर गेट टू प्रेस अ बेल आइकन लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर सो हेयर इन एडिट देर इज यूजर प्रेफरेंसेज सो देर इज ऑप्शन ऑफ असाइनमेंट स्टाफिंग वन असाइनिंग अ रिसोर्स टू एन एक्टिविटी to an existing activity assignment so there are three impact on that one always use the new resource units per time and our time factor always use assignments units per time and our time factor ask me to e select each time i assign so these are two settings when a resource and role share an activity assignment so there are two settings i will explain you each setting here so here for example this is already a resource okay civil work and team so i will add a same resource like here for example i add the same resource and i will change here and units per time also so here its units per time is 469 our time factor is 2.0 here it's 3.0 for example so when we change this resource from here any resource other any other resource for example i change it into electrical work so it asks here do you want to use the units per time and our time value for the new resource so when i say that yes the this value will be changed it will use electrical work team unit for example i press yes it use its older one so here we go there we remove that one because here the units are fixed i will change it to duration per units here and i will add a there the same resource here also there is also issue we have recalculate and the units duration and units per time fix so we will go here and preserve that one and now first of all we remove the preservation because if you preserve when we delete that one it will delete also the same first of all we preserve that 55874 will be preserved now this time it will be the same close and add now civil work team near so here 125 budget units we can change here the budget units part time to 65 if we change that one our time factor is 2.0 and we add another resource like the same add the resource electrical work team and we say that yes we want to add their new resource and unit per time factor it will add the same one and their duration will be same and the budget units will be impacted like the same as we added this activity so for example we say that their budget units per time is 60 and we say that we want to change that one into the same civil work team and this time i say i don't want to change the new units this will units per time will be remain same as i replaces the unit i will say no when we say no the units per time will be the same so for example we go here and we say in the user preferences in there option is selected ask me to select each time i assign when we assign each time it will ask so for example i say that use always always the new one and we say that always use the new one don't see the dialog box when we adding or we are just changing our staffing so don't show me dialog so it will select that one the same we close here and when we change this one it will not ask any question it will directly change that one now for example if i change here 
to 50 it will not matter here we see it will change into its default if we change into 70 and go here again or any factor here our time factor also but our time factor we don't even consider in the project management during in construction or in any field in project management so other companies use which are using that one is for procurement purpose or any other purpose this uses this one for that purpose so we change that one into electrical work so when we change it change its weighted unit so use that one the other setting i will show you the same so in this setting you can see in this setting it it uses the current assignment units per time and our time factor also so i will say that our time factor is 3.0 and the units are like 60 so when we change in civil work or to any other unit for example i change into steel it will be same 60 and our time factor will be same everything will be same for example i change into steel fixer it's the same 60 part day and 3.0 the same our time factor so this is the same for when we using the current setting so we will go ahead and ask me assign each time i assign a resource or change my stuffing in primavera p6 i use this setting I always use the dialog box here i will go use the preferences when a resource or role share and an assignment so when we change a resource or roles here you can see here roles here there is a roles option so when we assign a role here for example i assign engineer here so it asks the same do you want to use the price per unit for the new assignment so you are assigning when you are assigning a resource a role a role to any activity so it changes its units per time it should impact or not here you can see the same if you don't want to appear that dialog box ask me to select each time assign so when we assign a real role to an activity so uh, every time it will ask that you want to change your units per time for that one or not so one option is to change the resource per price per unit and the other option is roles price per units so which one you select if you press you say yes yes it will select roles and if you say no it will select resources so that's why it's today's content that how to change your assignment stuff stuffing when assigning a resource to an existing activity assignment so which setting you want to use so that's what what is today's our content about assignment stuffing in user preferences in primary p6 how these settings are adopted in our resources how we use that one and which settings we should use and which dialog box will appear when we using activity resource assignment adding in an existing activity assignment so thanks for watching softy demi if you have another content in your mind please share that content in our comments we will make a video on it so thanks for watching soft Demi. please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon like share comment and thanks we will meet in next video we will make another video on user preferences we will completely cover all the course about these settings in primavera p6 all admin preferences and other settings in primavera p6 and don't forget to share eat it with your friends we will meet in next video thanks for watching soft udemy